Hello guys, welcome to episode 7. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to mount Steam C and D. I mean, no, what the heck? How to mount um, Counter Strike Source into your uh, Gears Mod Dock RP server. Dock RP mostly needed. So, um, if you know what I mean, uh, you can't when you. The common symptoms of not having it mounted is your money is floating and it cannot be picked up. And you can only use checks, or the guns that you drop are floating. Either or, yeah, both. You still need to mount it. Everyone needs to mount it if you made it yourself. So when you click the first link, uh, it'll take you to this place right here. And we're gonna scroll down. If you have Windows, you'll we'll scroll down to right here, where you see Windows, and you'll see two downloads, two CMD for Windows, and you'll just click right here. And if it's uh, for uh, two other things, uh, there's two more. It can go for Linux, Windows, or OSX, which I'm guessing is operating system X. I don't know. And you'll just click on one of those. So if it's a Linux, you'll click that, and you'll go down, and there'll be a download. So I'm Windows, so I would just click right here. And it's going to open it as a zip, so you can need WinRAW. Um, link in the description for that. And you want to keep it in here, because what happens is it creates files where it's open. It. So I'm going to keep it in the zip. As you see, it has to extract a bunch of stuff. But if you put this in your desktop, a bunch of your desktop will become filled with useless applications. So, I don't know what, okay, so, and you look. Okay, okay, open the other one. And stop your download, but I didn't give it admin privileges, so it's gonna do a bunch of stuff. And if it does all this, that's okay. That means stuff needs updated from Steam, and then, so now we're done, and first thing we're going to type in is login anonymous, and see if that, okay, so, that worked, okay, and now that you've done that, you want to go to the file explorer, and uh, you want to go to wherever you want to put this file at, which basically is Counter Strike Source. So in my case, I'm gonna put this with my server. And it's actually really smart to do. And so if you put this in your server files, put it at the start so nothing bad can happen. And basically, once we're here, we're just gonna click up here and we're gonna copy it. I'm doing control C to copy it. And I'm just gonna minimize it. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do force underscore install underscore dir and space and paste in the thing right there the directory of your server and just click enter and nothing's gonna really pop up because we're not doing anything yet so basically when we update counter strike source and you do not need to have counter strike source to do this actually by the way i don't have it myself and I'm not going to take my way out to just go and show y'all because I have minutes, you know, and I'm so. What I'm going to type in right after this is app underscore update. And the ID of Counter Strike Source is 232330. And we're just going to click enter and see, I don't have it nowhere on my desktop. That's yet another zombie game y'all seen there. I don't have Counter Strike Source, and y'all can take the time to pause and look. And yet, it's still doing all the stuff. So, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so as you can see, mine's gone. And if you get this, uh, which this is first time about me, I don't know if it's bad, but apparently it's not because it's not. Now, I have to do this new air. Well, it's not new, but it's, uh, it's, un it's unfixable. Well, it's almost unfixable. I figured out my own fix. It's where it says like something uh, app and then this in 
is, is still in like something times that, you know, like that weird error. I've had that one. And the only way I fix it is to do login anonymous. You would do login and Login as your same username, and then you'll do app underscore update that. Then once it's done, it will should say successful. And then after that, you can go back and log in anonymous. You go back and log in anonymous, and and then you type the app thing, and this time should fully install. So that doesn't work out until tell you guys look it up. So look up your exact error, put it in the comments, and I'll try and figure it out for you. But basically, we finished. And if I go, you click the X. And as you can see, you just gonna click yes because it will use this one once. And as you can say, as you can see, this is what happens. This is what happens if you put it into your desktop. Luckily, Steam CMD and luckily Windbar asked me, but if it didn't, I'll do it all now. So basically, we'll go back to 75. We will see. One more file named CSS, and we open it, we get C Strike, and we're just gonna open C Strike, and you can see a bunch of this stuff. to mount Team Fortress, it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to do so, and I'm going to show you how to mount Team Fortress too. So it's really easy. Uh, so I don't know what TF2's I2, IT is, so I'll be right back in a second. Alright, so what we're doing differently for this one is we're just going to open up the Steam CMD that we downloaded earlier. So, it doesn't matter if I had the files or not. So, really, you could just do it. So, mine was Steam CMD 8 download. And that's, that's kind of sad. 
and so we'll go back here and we're just going to look for steamcd.exe if you don't have all these files it's just it'll be only one with steamcd.exe same thing and we're just going to open it it's going to take a while but it's going to open like it did just before and And this time, to be smart, we are going to go back to our server and we're going to make a file. And I'm just going to name it TF2. Yeah, and now I'm just going to open that and we're going to copy the directory. Now, if you do the same thing and you just want to make it all be in the server files again, like I did, but then I have to do CSS, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm not, I'm going to be smarter, and yeah, so now I'm just going to do the same thing, login anonymous, and then force underscore install underscore dir, and then this, and at underscore update, and let me figure out what the ID was, and we're just going to do two. Two three two two five zero. That's Team Fortresses, and we're just gonna click enter, and it's just gonna. S Again, you don't need Team Fortress, but I have it this time because it's free, and it's a pretty fun game. So I'll be back when it's done doing all that. So basically, once you've done that, which mine failed for some reason, and now it only looks like this. But once you've done that, there should be more files, and you'll see a file named TF. You're basically going to open TF and then you're going to copy the directory and then you're going to go to give it my configuration and you're going to go to mount, mount .cfd. you're going to edit it and you're just going to edit the two slashes we're going to delete these two slashes and in here we're going to paste uh, what we have from this so it's just slash tf at the end it needs to have slash tf at the end if it doesn't because that needs to tf out and then boom it's been mounted a uh, like comment subscribe and bye bye